So, as you can see, we're not in the van. So what happened to it? That's a story coming up. Right now we're just doing a little off-roading. We felt like we needed to get off the, the pavement a little bit, so we had to make a little change. You always have to think about what the priority is of like what the vehicle is going to do for you. So we kind of thought, well, maybe we want to get out and about a little bit more. Oh, we're a little angle. So should we tell them what it is, Lace? For our 15 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> New ones will be good, so that's what we got. And so we decided to get rid of the van. We did. Yeah. So there was some, you know, we liked it. We enjoyed it. Went on some trips with it. You can check out the, we have eight episodes, like little videos I put together. They're pretty, about 15 minutes each. You can check them out. Lace, I mean, we went from the bus. What do you think, Lace? It's rough on the arm. And the bus we felt was too large. We started thinking we want to get more off of the pavement. We didn't want limited access. That's what brought us to the van. And to have the amenities such as being able to maybe camp in it, sleep in it, vacations, that type of stuff. I mean, it served its purpose while we had it. You know what, if we have even more mobility, like that would be really good. And, and for her, like I, you felt the space was limited in the van. It was, in order to stay and, you know, having the dog, I guess some people could do it, but really it's just not what we were looking for. Yeah. For me, it was a roof height thing. I put the bed as low as I could, and the roof height was just it's limiting still a factor. Yeah. So getting dressed and moving around, her getting on top of me, and uh, so, I mean to get onwards. over, to, to get, to, <laughs> I mean to get out. So I'm thinking like expedition overland type of build instead. Four wheel drive, roof tent. Um, potentially get more room in a lot of different ways. We, we could be potentially like honing in on what we really wanted yeah and honestly i mean to live here and have access to all this off-road and i mean to have a vehicle now that allows us to do that pretty excited about it so it's going to be a new project we picked this thing up really cheap and uh, we sold the van to a guy he's a viewer what's up van enjoy that van i'm very excited about it i'm excited we have it i'm excited we have something fully capable to do what we're doing now Correct. and what we're going to continue to keep doing <laughs> So we've come down a little bit off-road, does pretty well. A little bit of bearing noise in the transmission, but that's no big deal. That's a cacti. That is a cacti. Yeah, we don't want that. People messaging me in the desert. This is where we're at with, with cellular in 2019. Mark. Let people know you were here. So, we're paused out here while Lace is stacking rocks. <laughs> Cause why not? Checking out the wilderness. That's my keys. It's pretty awesome out here. Wait, this wait. is pretty awesome, you know, having a vehicle that yeah. can take you out to the middle of nowhere. So it is a 1992 Nissan Pathfinder. It was kind of like an iconic little com competition between Toyota and Nissan. This is called a WD. 21 pretty cool vehicles this has an lsd in the rear end and four wheel drive um, 161,000 miles brand new 31s on it and it's just climbing away I mean, this is pretty lightweight in terms of trails that i know some of y'all are probably doing out there but you know first time we took it off roading see what's around us i mean literally 10 minutes right behind our place can't beat this i mean it's absolutely Gorgeous. It's got a little smokestack there. 
little gathering area. It's pretty cool. We're gonna hook up with this off-road club in April. I'm gonna do a first video and we're just gonna do this vehicle in step. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Appreciate you watching and uh, thank you very much for uh, liking my video if you have and throw me a little subscribe me and lace appreciate it and uh, look forward to more videos in the future here. Thanks for watching.